Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. We got a lot more show for you tonight. The battle is on. New Jersey's governor-elect Phil Murphy wants to legalize weed, not just decriminalize it, but legalize it across the board. We're going to talk to a senator who's saying, not so fast. You haven't even taken office yet, but there are a lot of questions about this idea. But first, New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning. He won't be starting this coming weekend, replaced by Geno Smith. What happened? The Giants are terrible this season. Nobody is doubting that, but what a huge turn of events to bench the guy that has started in more than 200 games. As a matter of fact, at the press conference, press caught up with him after the announcement, and uh, Eli seemed to tear up just a bit, not happy about this, but he's going to soldier on. I want to bring in a sports expert, the guy that is the founder of Gotham Sports Network and the podcast NYG Weekly, Ethan Levy. Ethan, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Thanks for having me, Bill. I'm doing well. All right. So what do you think? Is this it for the Giants coach? I mean, you know, talking about just the fan base, the fans are absolutely at the end of the rope, but isn't it fair to bench the starting quarterback when you only scrape together two wins in the season? Well, I think there are a couple of things that you can discuss when it comes to the benching of Eli Manning. Now, you might have a case if we're talking about starting Davis Webb, third round pick in last year's draft, just to see what you have in your future. But for Geno Smith, I just don't get it. The move makes zero sense, and a lot of people are upset. Is McAdoo just trying to do something wild and creative and saying, I literally have nothing left to lose, and I might lose my job at the end of the season? I think the writing's on the wall, if we're being totally honest. I think that the organization needs a total house cleaning. That's Jerry Reese all the way down to the coaching staff and Ben McAdoo. And this might be a last ditch effort to say, you know what? I've sort of been throwing Eli Manning under the bus bit by bit off season. Let's see if I can win a couple games with Geno Smith and prove that he's the issue and not my broken offense. How do you think the New York Giants would do with Geno Smith if they put him against the Rutgers football team? <laughs> think they'd win? Against Rutgers? I think, I think he'd get the win. Yeah, it'd be close though, right? Oh, yeah. All right, what's the future for Eli Manning? Is this it? Is he hanging up after this season? Uh, with the Giants, yes. I don't think he's done as a professional quarterback. That's at least what I took from his press conference yesterday. I think there are a number of teams out there that would be blessed to have him as their starting quarterback next year. One idea that's been thrown around a lot that I'm in favor of is reuniting with Tom Coughlin down in Jacksonville. They've already gotten elite defense, a good running game, and I think that if they team up again, they can make a serious run. Hey, who's in the Super Bowl this year? Uh, it, it pains me to say it. I think it's going to be Patriots-Eagles. Yep, man, there you go. <laughs> All right, man. Ethan, good to talk to you. Thanks. Bill, thanks for having me.